For years, Africa was seen as a consumer of global technology, not a creator. Its tech headlines were often dominated by mobile banking or internet access, not cutting-edge breakthroughs. Artificial intelligence? That seemed like a luxury for Silicon Valley Shenzhen or London. But quietly, something was shifting. By the early 2020s, a new generation of African innovators began to emerge. They weren't following global trends, they were rewriting them. In cities like Lagos, Nairobi, Kigali, and Accra, a wave of digital native entrepreneurs began tackling old problems with new tools. They weren't building apps for convenience. They were using machine learning to diagnose diseases in rural Zambia, detect crop failures for Kenyan farmers, and personalize education in underfunded classrooms across the continent. In 2024, the numbers told a powerful story. Over 2,400 AI-focused companies were active across Africa. Nearly half were startups, clustered mostly in just seven countries. Their mission? Build homegrown, scalable AI solutions for African problems. A young, tech-savvy population and a rapid surge in smartphone adoption made the continent a fertile ground for innovation. Global giants were starting to take notice. Google projected that AI could add 30 billion to sub-Saharan Africa's economy by 2030. GSMA forecasted a 3% GDP boost worth nearly three trillion dollars. Africa was no longer sitting on the sidelines of the AI revolution. It was preparing to shape it. But beneath the surface of this promising boom, the cracks were hard to ignore. The turning point came in the early 2020s, as digital infrastructure expanded across the continent and global tech companies began investing in African talent. The COVID-19 pandemic had exposed critical gaps in healthcare, logistics and education, and African entrepreneurs saw opportunity in the crisis. Incubators like AfriLabs and accelerators such as Google for Startups Africa and AI4Dev began funneling resources and mentorship into early-stage AI startups. Governments were waking up too. Rwanda launched its center for the fourth industrial revolution. Senegal and Benin rolled out national AI strategies. Nigeria, Africa's most populous country, started drafting one of its own. For the first time, Africa wasn't just participating in a global tech wave, it was architecting its own. And what began as scattered efforts in isolated hubs was quickly turning into a continental movement. But progress didn't come easy. Africa's average AI readiness score hovered at just 26.9, well below the global average. Many countries lacked the basic building blocks of AI innovation. Access to large data sets, cloud computing capacity, affordable internet, and standardized regulations. Funding, once abundant in the post-2020 startup boom, had begun to tighten. Investors were now more cautious, and African startups were forced to stretch limited resources while competing globally. Yet despite these headwinds, the ecosystem held its ground. Founders collaborated across borders. Researchers created open source datasets tailored to African languages and environments. Small wins began piling up, grants, partnerships, pilots that quietly proved what was possible. One company would take things to a new level, Cassava Technologies. In partnership with NVIDIA, Cassava launched a bold plan in 2025, roll out advanced AI infrastructure across South Africa, with expansion to Egypt, Kenya, Morocco, and Nigeria. It was a signal to the world. Africa wasn't just trying to adopt AI. It was building the backbone for it. Data centers, cloud platforms, AI supercomputers. These were no longer dreams on a whiteboard. They were happening. Suddenly, the question shifted from if Africa could lead in AI to how soon. That question took center stage in April 2025 at the first global AI summit held on African soil. Kigali, Rwanda, welcomed over 1,000 tech leaders, researchers, policymakers, and investors from around the world. The message was clear. Africa was here. Not just to learn, but to lead. Startups pitched AI solutions tailored to local problems with global applications. Governments signed cross-border data sharing agreements. Investors announced new funds dedicated to African innovation. The mood? Electric. Hopeful. Grounded in action. By mid-2025, Africa's AI ecosystem was no longer emerging. It had arrived. 
With hundreds of companies operational, public and private partnerships booming and international recognition growing, the continent stood at a technological inflection point. AI was now being used to predict malaria outbreaks in West Africa, translate local languages in real time for rural education, monitor deforestation and illegal mining from space, boost productivity for smallholder farms using satellite imagery and sensors. And for the first time, young African talent, data scientists, engineers, ethicists, were no longer leaving for opportunities abroad. The opportunity was here. Africa wasn't just a user of AI. It was redefining it. But at the height of its momentum, the continent faced a critical question. Who owns Africa's AI future? As global tech giants deepened their presence, some began to worry. Would Africa's data be exploited? Would foreign platforms dominate the narrative? Could AI systems trained on foreign values and biases truly serve local needs? There were calls for data sovereignty, open infrastructure, and ethical frameworks tailored to the continent. If these issues weren't addressed, Africa's AI rise could repeat the same patterns of dependence and inequality it had long tried to escape. This wasn't a collapse, but it was a moment of reckoning. The next few years would determine whether this wave of innovation could remain African-led or be quietly absorbed by outside powers. Today, the foundations are set, but the future is still unfolding. Africa has the raw ingredients for AI greatness, a young, connected population, complex challenges that demand innovation, and a growing coalition of governments, entrepreneurs, and thinkers determined to build something different. But the work is far from over. Infrastructure gaps remain. Investment is needed. And ethical AI must be more than a buzzword. It must be a core principle. The story of AI in Africa isn't just about technology. It's about ownership, empowerment, and what it means to shape your own future in a digital age. Whether this becomes one of Africa's greatest economic leaps or another missed opportunity depends on what happens next. Follow at Spotlight in Africa to stay ahead of the story.